Now this test I'm going to put in a one tablespoon of distilled water or excuse me in a vinegar in this mostly distilled water and I want to see what the result is. How does it react? And I'm seeing a little bit of electro there's more electrolysis than there was. So vinegar and distilled water does cause electrolysis to increase, but not a lot. Not one, not at two tablespoons per gallon. Now I'm going to try adding one more tablespoon of vinegar and see what the reaction is. This will make four tablespoons per gallon. Yes, needs to be mixed a little. Now let's see what we get. I'm seeing increased electrolysis, but not what I would call useful production. Now I'm going to add another tablespoon. This will increase the uh, amount of vinegar in the water to uh, six tablespoons per gallon. And I'm seeing still more electrolysis occurring, but it's still very low production. Now I'm going to increase the dosage to 8 tablespoons per gallon and see what it does. Again, I'm seeing increased electrolysis, but I'm not seeing useful production. At this point, I've added, I think, about a quarter of a cup. It doesn't appear to be a useful amount of production at this rate, eight tablespoons per gallon. I'll try one more, see how that works. Here's one more tablespoon. This makes 10 tablespoons of vinegar in distilled water per gallon. And as you can see, it is making some, but not enough to be considered productive. My conclusion is, in order for vinegar to be useful, it would take a pretty high concentration. Now granted, the vinegar you buy is 5%, but as, as you can see, it's going to take a significant amount in order to get useful production.